Sam Barber, a uh, tough match with Wyoming and uh, in virtually, uh, in, I think, eight of the ten bout bouts. Yeah, you know, I think our guys, you know, we, we know we're a good team, but we want to be exceptional. I think that was a conversation yesterday when we went through the evaluation. And we, we had some solid performers, and I'll kind of talk about those in a second. But, they, you know, the conversation yesterday is like, well, what are the things that we can do, c control that don't take extra time, that don't take more talent, you know, that would have probably made a difference in some of those matches. And I know our team, again, you know, I, I love every, every guy on our team, you know, 45 of them up and down the lineup. You know, they all bring value. If they didn't, they wouldn't be with us. So they're a great group of guys. They're be committed to making the adjustments and you know the focus is going to be putting the very best team we can on the mat each week and then seeing how many guys we can get to uh, the NCAA tournament and we got some great great things happening we got four guys in the rankings right now of those guys Sidney Flores had a solid win over another national ranked wrestler he you know he certainly wrestled with a lot of consistency which is a, is a big deal for him you know Jared Van Vliet's right on the He's, you know, he's going to get in the rankings. He's right there. You know, took returning all American down to the wire, and we were a challenge away, I think, from winning that match. You know, Lenny Peterson, um, he, you know, he, he had another win. Again, he's in the national rankings again. One of our four guys, and some of the guys that he beat at App State have had some nice wins. So he's climbed up a few spots now. He's in the top 20. So, and then Trey Brisker, you know, first, you know, first year starter for us. Gritty, wrestles hard, strong. Found a big takedown from not great position, you know. So we love it when guys kind of find that, way, you know, ability to do that. And then Randy Manweather's back in the rankings again, still nine to zero on the season. Um, a guy that's just really wrestling, you know, with uh, leaving on the mat mentality, his senior year. And, you know, just really determined to get himself to punch his ticket to the NCAA tournament. And Kane Hutchinson in the national ranking still again. And, again, some of his wins that he's had earlier in the year are paying off. And as he had a tough-ranked opponent uh, this weekend against Wyoming, but he's still right there. But So I think, you know, we're where we need to be. Um, as far as we'll continue to grow and move forward, no doubt a little bit disappointed in that result. But I, I know, again, I know this team, and I know they're going to respond the right way, and, and we're going to continue to grow and get better. Yeah. Before we move on from Wyoming, pretty good crowd you had out there. Yeah, again, I just want to say thank you to all the people that stepped up. We reached our goal of 100 season tickets. You know, I think we went over that by quite a little bit. And then we just had, you know, I think, the, you know, 650 was the number. So pretty good crowd. You know, our goal is to get, you know, to average about 1,000 a dual meet. So we got some work to do still. But um, no doubt we're building our brand. It's getting out there. And I think as that's one of the things we talked about the guys is, like, who are we when we compete? You know, who are we when we compete? And if we can be who we say we want to be, um, you know, gritty, hard-nosed, tough, team that scores points it's exciting to watch that finishes you know periods on top um you know people are going to really you know it's going to increase the value of what we offer and people are going to want to be part of it and come see it so it's on us a little bit to have a better product but as we as we grow and develop that we really appreciate the support yeah Fantastic. Now this week, uh, busy week out to Hofstra, out to Navy. Tell me everything. Yeah, so we're going to take, you know, 15 guys out. We have a dual meet with, against Hofstra on Thursday night. So we'll leave tomorrow with those guys. And then from there, we'll drive down to Annapolis and we'll wrestle in the Navy Classic. It's going to be a great tournament. I think 18 teams in that tournament. Um, six to seven of those teams are, are top 25 teams. So really going to be a solid tournament. Going to offer us an opportunity to see some teams that we don't get to see normally, um, you know, traveling that far east. So excited about that and some great opportunities for guys individually weight classes too so and while we're doing that we'll take uh, the other guys that aren't able to go with us to Navy and they'll be in Kearney wrestling so we'll have everybody that's healthy will be competing this weekend so it's gonna be a good week for us yeah. that's obviously helpful uh, when you have other wrestlers because you never know what can happen throughout a season injuries things like that and other people might have to step up so it's nice that they have opportunities to wrestle somewhere else yeah well I think you're seeing it you know if you look at our lineup Jared Van Vliet was one of those guys last year Trey Brisker is one of those guys last year right so there's been a handful of those guys in our lineup right now. Casey Jumps was one of those guys last year. So there's been a lot of guys for us having the ability to get those guys competition opportunities where they can get weighed and measured and see where they're at and continue to grow and strive to be better. Um, you know, and again, we're, we're going to invest in every guy on our team, and, and that's not going to change. So that part of it's important for us, and we're going to be a better team um, when we have guys that have some experience underneath their belt and uh, and just some drive. I mean, it's – this this is a this is a tough business to be in, and it's hard when you just come to practice every day and you don't have a, a target on the wall to shoot for, right? So having having competitions aim for having those guys an opportunity to see where they're at and grow, it's it's a big part of our developmental program. Yeah. And finally, four guys in the rankings, uh, you might want to start thinking about NCAA tickets, right? Yeah, absolutely. So that sent that email out yesterday. If you're in our fan base, you know we're you know we want to get NCAA tickets. Give me a, a send me an email. A little bit different. I need you. I need you to sign up and pay by the 9th of uh, December this year. Uh, Minneapolis, U.S. Bank Stadium. 
Uh, all tickets can be lower level. They're gonna, you know, it's gonna be a record-breaking year. And that venue, you know, traditionally we've got about twenty thousand people at that event, and we're we think we're gonna be closer to thirty-five to forty this year. So, if you want tickets, um, go ahead and you know send me an email, get your payment in, set with the Falcons, cheer on our guys. Again, with four guys in the rankings, I think we're gonna have a strong contingency there. Fantastic, Sam. Good luck this weekend. I appreciate it. Thanks.